I'm Joanne Rowton Arnold. I'm an opera singer and I also happen to be partially sighted, but that doesn't define me. I sing with the British Para Orchestra. It's the only um, professional orchestra in the world made up of disabled musicians. They're an extraordinary group of people doing amazing things, reaching worldwide audiences in top class concert halls and festivals. My work with the Para Orchestra really got me thinking and questioning my own um, artistic practice as an opera singer. I wondered, is there some way of making opera more accessible to a wider demographic, in particular the disabled community? After all, 20% of the UK population has a disability, but we don't see anything like that number either on the stage or in the audience of major opera houses and concert halls. So I founded Formidability. We are a company which is made up of a healthy mix of disabled and non-disabled artists. We're creating extraordinary new work and really pushing boundaries. In the, the normal kind of practice would be for our company to create a new production and then once they've done all the artistic work to add on accessibility features on the, on the edges. But we're taking a different approach. We're putting it right at the heart of the production right from the start. Um, we're giving accessibility an artistic value of its own, something that can enhance the experience for the whole audience, not just those with a disability. So we're really excited about our first production. We are pairing Hotspur by Gillian Whitehead and Fleur Adcock with Arnold Schoenberg's extraordinary Piero Lunaire. Um, this is one of the greatest works to come out of the 20th century. This production is in collaboration with Sign Dance Collective International. They're an amazing group of professional artists who are pioneering the use of sign dance theatre in their work. Sign dance is an extension, an elevation of sign language, giving it a really beautiful, intense theatrical dimension. Arts Council England funded an amazing week of research and development that we held in March. We were exploring how sign dance might work in tandem with opera. Our biggest lesson? When you make something accessible for one group of people, it becomes accessible for everyone. Without exception, our artists and audience at the workshop performance found that sign dance opened up this complex and extraordinary musical world to them in really surprising ways. Creating something as high caliber as this with international artists who are working at the top of their game and including all the accessibility elements that we passionately believe are so important is expensive. Our overall budget is £65,500, of which we have approximately 50% already funded thanks to Arts Council England, several private trusts and foundations and support in kind. We are incredibly grateful to all of these people, but we still need to find £26,000 to make our project happen. If you can help us get to 10,000, we can pay for our orchestra and conductor. If we reach 15,000 pounds, we can also cover our collaboration with Sign Dance Collective International. At 20,000 pounds, we can add live audio description, touch tours and braille translation of the Sur titles, which is the English translation of the German and Pierre Lenaire. Above that, you're helping us to put formidability on a firm foundation for projects in the years ahead allowing us to reach more people and share our practice with the wider profession. Thank you so much for your support. Please spread the word and we hope to see you at the Akola Theatre this summer.